7 is a cerebral number, and those with a life path number 7 have a loner quality. They need to learn to have faith. If they do not have faith they tend to become very cynical and escape through drugs, alcohol, work, and geography. They have a love of natural beauty, ocean, green grass, plants, flowers, etc. Life path number 7 is the number of a higher awareness, a wider point of view. Sevens tend to have an air of mystery, and do not want you to know who they are. Intellectual, analytical, intuitive, reserved, natural inclination towards spiritual subjects, aloof, loner, pessimistic, secretive, and insecure, are some of the qualities of those born into the seventh life path. The seven life path is taking you on an extraordinary journey in which your quest for knowledge is the main factor behind everything you do and everything that happens to you. You are the reality seeker who will accept nothing but the truth. And until you recognize and accept that the attainment of wisdom is your very purpose for being here, you may be left confused and frustrated by the actions and attitudes of other people. Sevens are seeking perfection but, in this imperfect world, you can only aspire to what is perfect for you and, even when you have found, your, perfection, you will soon discover its flaws and become dissatisfied again. You do look for flaws. If you cannot recognize this trait in yourself, study your own actions and needs for a while, or ask someone who knows you well. You will soon see that you are an exacting soul whose standards are often too high for others, and even you, to maintain. As a seven life path, your purpose is to develop your intuition, spirituality, trust, and openness, balanced against your desire for data-driven analysis. These themes will be reoccurring issues throughout your life, as your life path number indicates what you're evolving into, developing, aspiring toward, and learning about. While you'll display innate gifts and talents in these areas, you'll also experience some challenging lessons that will guide you towards mastering your life's purpose. Can you accept that you're both an intellectual and a psychic? As a seven, you're always seeking answers to life's big and small questions. You live mostly in your head and tend to over-intellectualize everything. You're learning how to manage and understand the emotional side of life. You're actually quite a sensitive and emotional person, yet that part of you feels foreign. Understand that you're on a different wavelength than most people. You're great with any career in which you can work alone for part of the time, research, science, data collecting, computers. Yet you can also feel the pull of your more intuitive side and be drawn to the healing arts, metaphysical thought, and self-exploration. Those walking a life path number 7 are smart problem solvers with visionary potential. Exacting science enthralls this curious soul. Ever thinking, the 7 takes rigorous steps to figure out puzzles. In your youth you were the kid who didn't put down the Sunday crossword for anything until it was done to perfection. Your deep desire for completion is what endears you to others with projects. When a seven is around the task will get done, the matter is, when, it gets done. Forget deadlines with this seeker. The seven life path could be considered the tin man of sacred numbers as they walk the yellow brick road, somewhat immobile and rusted emotionally. This is why they often choose flying solo, content to roll ideas around in their mind rather than socialize. This makes seven mysterious to others. If this is your life path people may see you as very private to the point of aloofness. Part of that is your desire for perfection in those you choose for your circle, if anyone. Rather like an atom, you keep a lot of folk in your outermost zones, and even then, those people are only present because they're useful to the tin man's quest. The love of solitude often attracts the seven into spiritual pursuits where they can retreat to the mountain top and learn the secrets of true living. This may work for the seven for a lifetime, but many find that there's still a natural hunger for some type of intimacy. The challenge in this incarnation for the seven is figuring out how to balance out this dichotomy. As a child the seven would skip rocks not to count how far the stone got, but to watch the resulting ripples. The Seven's mantra is, nothing is only skin deep. They will look for those very same ripples in every moment, every experience which has the benefit of catching information that others overlook. 
If the seven puts down a personal quest long enough they can fall in love quickly, sometimes pushing a relationship too far too soon, as if feelings were yet another sphere of exploration. Once in a relationship the seven personality needs reassurance. As parents they are very committed to being good providers, but may go overboard even as with the love declarations. For leisure the seven enjoys strategic games like chess and heady books, typically non-fiction. The environment around a seven is oddly comfortable considering how organized they are mentally. Should the seven step out of their shell somewhat, people will inevitably invite it in rather than go out. Home sweet home has deep meaning for the seven so when they do open that door, treat it respectfully and you may just gain a friend for life.